St. Bernard, my goodness, what can you say about St. Bernard? One of the things that I think of when I think of St. Bernard of Clairvaux is, my name is Bernard, so I have that connection. And I like to say I'm Deacon Bernard from St. Bernard. St. Bernard is a doctor of the church. He's called the mellifluous doctor. There's a $10 word for you. Uh, mellifluous means honey sweet. And um, that's because he spoke so sweetly of Christ, of his church, of Mary, of conversion. So case in point, when he decided to become a monk, or I think around the age of 18, uh, he spoke so sweetly of the lifestyle that the monks lived uh, that he convinced all six of his brothers to join him, even the married one, <laughs> who had to have a weird, difficult conversation with his wife. Not only that, uh, but 24 other people in this town, friends, family, they all followed him. 30 in total followed him uh, to uh, this new um, monastery. He went to the University of Paris in 1140 uh, to speak to the scholars and the students there of conversion. Uh, and after that sermon, after that lecture, 20 of them just decided to leave their careers, to leave their studies and follow him back to Clairvaux. Uh, when he was sent to France, it was called the, the Valley of Bitterness, and some people say it's the Valley of Darkness. But he wasn't there very long when he was instrumental in changing the name to Clairvaux, which really means light. So he changed the place, his surroundings, his whole environment, named from darkness to lightness. St. Bernard was a man of rather good intellect. Rome did not like that. He was such a strong figure, and they sent him a spirited letter uh, asking him to stay put and not meddle in the affairs of others or things that didn't concern him. And St. Bernard was like, you know what, that would be really awesome. I would, I would love to stay in my monastery and, and not have to go around and uh, meddle in others' affairs. But the the good of the church does concern me. So he sent his own spirit to reply back to Rome. And while still upholding the prerogatives of the Holy See, he didn't find it necessary to flatter the Pope. Uh, so when the schism uh, threatened to devastate the Catholic Church, he went himself and defeated the anti-Pope. And good old St. Bernie saved the day. And he did all this while being uncommonly good looking. Um, so take that as you will. He loves the Blessed Mother Mary, very cool, loves the church, and he was a reformer of the church, always calling the church to be who she was truly meant to be. In our sacristy here, and also the one in the chapel, we have a piece of the bones of Saint Bernard. I found it during the virus, tucked away. It's very cool. It's from 1957. It was given to us when the church was, was founded here and uh, has all the official documents. You gotta stop in and see that. It's a thousand years old. The bodies of the saints are important because it's not only our souls that are holy, but we are body and soul. So even the body in a real way possesses the reality of who saints are, who we are, and who we will one day be. We're saved body and soul. So this relic of St. Bernard is claimed by heaven. And you and I, we want to be claimed by heaven too. St. Bernard reminds us that there's only one place we can go to find true solace when we encounter evils and pain in this life. He wrote in Sermon 61, And where in truth is there a firm and safe refuge for us who are weak? except in the wounds of our Savior. When I think of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, I've always been attracted to the a monastic lifestyle. Um, I went to St. John's University, which are Benedictine monks, um, and St. Bernard sort of expanded on, and I think they lived by the rule of St. Benedict. I also appreciate St. Bernard's love for the Blessed Mother and his humility, his intelligence, and his love for the community, both the community that he lived in as a monk and his brothers and sisters in the community in which he served. One of my favorite quotes from St. Bernard about the Blessed Mother is, if you follow her, you will not stray. So if you're looking to grow in your relationship with Mary, ask for St. Bernard's intercession. One of the quotes that I love from St. Bernard is, those who seek knowledge for the sake of knowledge that is curiosity. Those who seek knowledge to be known by others, that is vanity. There are those who seek knowledge in order to serve, that is love. 
On a book I read about Christian mysticism, it, it said that uh, St. Bernard was less concerned about knowledge and mostly concerned about love. A great reformer, a great lover of Mary, an inspirer of others, challenges you and me too uh, to be the same. Great St. Bernard, pray for us.